Welcome to ITC Daily News, where Armani and Amaya and on to today's story. Ever wonder what your ITC teachers are thinking? Well, I interviewed Mr. Koopa here and asked him a few questions about his career here. Mr. Koopa has been working here since 2013 and says that he's seen a continued pattern of growth and maturity in students as they go from freshman year and up. Mr. Koopa also stated that one of the best strategies of teaching for him is giving his students choices. He feels like it gives his students freedom and he's but he is still learning and evolving as a teacher. He also tries very hard to get to know his students better and understand them overall. Mr. Krupa didn't originally want to become a teacher, but ended up falling in love with it. Some advice from Mr. Krupa to new teachers here is to lean on other teachers and drink lots of fluids because you're going to need them. Have you ever had the desire to become a teacher or dive in the field of English language arts? Well, here's why you should. I had the pleasure of talking with one of ITC's 10th grade ELA teachers, Mr. Lowen. Mr. Lowen has been teaching at ITC for 8 years, but before ITC, he taught at PSLA Follower for 11 years. He even taught a year in California and was once a substitute teacher. But overall, he has been working. Uh, but overall, he has been teaching for 20 years. Mr. Lutwin was raised in a house of teachers. His father was his 8th grade math teacher and taught in the city school district for 40 years. Mr. Lutwin's aunt and sister were also teachers as well. When Mr. Lutwin first started college, he had no idea of what he wanted to do, so he started taking ELA classes. Even though he didn't like it in high school, he says he was approached a lot differently in college than he was in high school, and that over time he just fell in love with the whole concept of ELA, like reading, writing, and self-expression. Lutwin didn't know what to do with all of it, but he felt like he could really connect with young people and that he could become a teacher. Some advice that Mr. Lutwin would give to those who want to become a teacher or study in the field of English language arts is to read and that the most important thing is reading. Whether you're going to become a teacher or not, another important thing is making your voice heard and connecting with your students and peers. Also, remembering that English is an art form and that you got to surrender yourself to it and tell your story. As COVID restrictions loosen up, more sports teams are able to get back to normal. Mr. Weinheimer, coach of the baseball team as well as the girls' tennis team, says, Numbers are up and the kids seem more comfortable. We don't have to check temperatures or distance on the bus. And there's a lot less stress. It's nice to see that we're returning to some sense of normalcy after the pandemic. Good luck to all ITC athletes. Have you ever learned about forensics? Kevon Pulley interviewed Miss Connolly and asked her what made her want to become a forensic teacher. And she said she always thought it was interesting. He also asked her why did you become a forensic teacher and not a forensic scientist? She answered she prefers to be around other people than sitting alone in a lab all day. In an interview with Mrs. Argus of ITC, she stated that she is happy to be a teacher here and the students are what make the job more worth it, in her opinion, even though it's hard work. Although, oh my god, amongst grading, along with grading, amongst other things, the job is very rewarding for her. It is not about the pay, it's about the gratification of teaching the young people of the world. The main thing she focuses on is making sure the students are organized and respectful, she stated. She believes the school is a wonderful place to learn for the students. Ms. Jordan has been working here for about 14 years. Janiya Shadream asked her, what, was the, what is the difference between the school over the years? She has been working here. She said at first there were no 11th and 12th graders because of this school. The school was way smaller than before. They used to only have 100 students enrolled at ITC. The amount of money teachers made was lower back then. It was only after school. The school got more programs and more students that the pay got higher for the teachers. When she first got here, she took over someone else's spot for science, and over a year later, she became the, the new science teacher in a small school. One thing she loves about this school is the politeness of kids who are kind to others. One thing she dislikes is that the school is five weeks instead of four. That is all for ITC Daily News. Thank you for viewing and taking time to listen to our stories. Are you ready? Ooh, I know you see.